this video, we look at Montreal compliance and the end of life phases in device lifecycle management of a Mac. We look at how Mobile and Access protects enterprise data not only from being leaked to untrusted apps, it also provides users with custom remediation messages so that they can understand the issue they are facing better. In this scenario, company's IT policy allows users to install apps such as Google Chrome on their Macs. Users are allowed to use Google Chrome for personal use. However, in this case, the IT policy also governs that the user should not use browsers other than the system browser, which in this case is Safari, to access corporate resources. When user tries to reach a corporate resource using Google Chrome, they're provided with a completely customized remediation page, which can include help text and links from IT itself. This helps the user to understand the reason behind the block better. Google Chrome was allowed to be installed on the device. However, if an admin chooses to, they can block other applications such as the Tor browser from being installed on the device. This is an important feature as most of the apps on macOS platform are outside of the Mac App Store. Automating compliance tracking is very simple when using MobileIron. In this example, company's IT policy requires users to encrypt their Macs. As a result, here, IT admin has set up a policy to track Macs which are not encrypted. But to drive compliance, IT admin is making use of Mobileline's policy engine to send emails and wait for a few days before the next action can be triggered. This allows users to comply with specific tasks by sending them reminder emails and steps to achieve the same. While creating such a wait and act policy is completely optional, this helps IT to drive compliance with support from users. Here, IT is sending three emails. At the end of this compliance policy, admins can choose to take necessary actions such as block the device or retire the device from organizational management or take other less disruptive actions which could be simply to do nothing. Here, the admin chooses to retire the device. End of life for devices can be initiated by admins or by users themselves. Admins can simply log in into Mobileye Cloud Portal and go to the Devices tab. Within the Devices section, admins could select one or more devices and take necessary actions that are available through the Actions drop-down. Here, they can lock, retire, wipe, and do many other things that they wish to end of life a device. Admins can do the same on a per device basis. Here they could do the same actions which is retire, wipe or lock devices after reviewing device details. Empowering users to do the same can also be very helpful. Users can browse to mydevices.mobileline.com and authenticate using their corporate credentials. Once authenticated, users are able to see devices that are managed by the organization. If the admin has given users the right permissions, they're able to lock, wipe, or retire the device as they feel necessary. That is it for device lifecycle management of a Mac. Thank you for watching.